Hi Aries, it's Elle here to do your July 2021 20, general reading. It's a general reading, so it will not resonate with every Aries, but if it does resonate with you, please like, share, comment. Let me know down in the comment section how it resonates for you. All right, so let's jump into this Aries. Thank you, Lord God, for blessing the Aries with a clear, concise message from you. Okay, so Aries, we have the Nine of Pentacles. We have the Magician. Sometimes this card can be depicted as you. And then we have the Hierophant. All right, so some of you, if you are if you have a job, if you work for a corporation or, you know, a, a large entity, um, you're trying to manifest maybe a promotion or a better a raise or something. You're trying to manifest something more, something better in terms of uh, your job here. If you're married, it looks like you're trying to balance out your independent nature, you know, alongside of being coupled and married. Um, you, you might even be trying to go to couples counseling, trying to see it through. You're trying to work through it. Um, you're trying to do everything that you can do to maintain here. Or this is somebody that you're dealing with, Aries. Someone could be married, already coupled, and they're really trying to make it work. Um, they could be trying to make it work with you if you're on the outside of the relationship. And they're trying to make it work with their marital partner. It looks like, um, I don't know, it could be you, Aries, coming to some clarity in terms of this person and what they want from you. You're seeing clearly. It looks like you were in a fog because of your emotions. You were allowing yourself to be filled with those emotions of maybe even falling in love or falling for someone or maybe even loving someone who didn't love you or didn't love you in the fashion that... Um, Maybe they, they should have or you thought they should have. The Seven of Pentacles says that, because we have the Seven of Pentacles showing up here. Um, it says there has been a period of inactivity, maybe seven to nine months between you and this person. I don't know if, if you haven't talked or you just haven't met up or there's been a period of inactivity. It could be because somebody is pregnant. Especially if you're dealing with someone who's already coupled or married, the marital partner could be pregnant. Um, there, there's something going on here. It looks as if, who, if you are dealing with somebody who's married, they're going to stay in their marriage. They may even tell you that. They may tell you how much they desire you. They obsess over you. Um, they're infatuated with the love that you two have. They have a big ego, and you feel it for them. Um, the sex is good, and they would like to have more with you. Um, but they are doing what they need to do in order to stay in their marriage because they want to see um, their legacy through the Ten of Pentacles. It's more about seeing the legacy through, seeing having the empire. These could be even two people who have nothing in common. There's really no love. Um, the only thing holding them two together is legacy, is empire, is money, is real estate, is family. Is seeing it through this person could really be tied to their home this could be an investor this is somebody with a lot of money um, this is someone who yeah this person is married they want you as an option okay they, they may even want you as a forever option uh, if not forever they want you as an option for a very long time maybe that they go you know back and forth to or in between um, this person, if they're not married um, and you're dealing with somebody, they have another option. Now, you have to get in where you fit in. They either see you as the long-term person that they could be married to, and then there's another person here who is just maybe fun, uh, it's playful, but they aren't ready to give that up either. And or this is a lifestyle they see themselves married to you, in a commitment with you, but they're not ready to really give up the um, singlehood, the autonomy that comes with, you know, being by yourself. Um, they have a hard time relying on anything or anyone else except for themselves. Uh, there is no intimacy here uh, in terms of the relationship. It's all surface level. You, you and this person have 
not gone into any depth in conversation in, in each other's lives. Um, not according to them. Um, and they may be keeping you there uh, purposely because they already have someone or, or they're just not ready for intimacy in this connection. This per if you've stopped talking to them, they want to salvage the relationship. They feel like you, there's something salvageable about it. There's something here. They want to get past the problems, the issues, the drama. They want this back. They want you back in some capacity. They're willing to, they're standing firm on what it is they believe and what they want. That's, they're not going to be moved on that. Yeah, if this was your lover, they feel very ignored, abandoned, shut out right now. Um, they feel like you played them or, or vice versa. You can feel like you got played. Someone is really wanting to reach out and start the relationship back up again. This could be someone from your past or you have a past with, a past life, children with. Somebody feels like being with you is the right way, is the right path. This is where they need to be. This is what they need to be doing. If you guys are separated and it looks like you are, they're spying on you or vice versa. You're doing the same. Someone wants to tell you something. They want to release the heavy load, the, the burden that is. Yeah, they want to tell you something and then they want you, but they want, in telling you this, they want you to deal with them with truth and compassion and forgiveness. And then you guys can ride off into the sunset only for a short amount of time because either they're going to go back to being single and or go back to their wife or spouse or whatever. Somebody wants their cake and, it, and, and they want to eat it too. Um, they may even be honest with you about this. Um, Aries, you or the other person could be confused because you're not listening to your intuition. Um, the cards are asking, are you experiencing intimacy in your relationships, your sacral chakra? And you might not be experiencing that because it could be manufactured in this relationship that someone did not want an intimate connection. They want to have sex with you, but they don't want to be intimate. I don't want to know your grandmother's name and what she died from or she's got cancer. They don't want to know anything about you. They just want the surface level, the fun, the the uh the connection that is um that gets the endorphins going you know so i don't know if this is you or them get in where you fit in but it seems like there's a situation where somebody's trying to have two separate lives and they're really trying to make it work what this magician is holding between them is a cyball so it's like when you create that energy so it's like somebody's trying to create um single life, nine of pentacles, and married life. And they're just really trying to balance out the two here with them being the magician in between. This could be you, this could be the other person. You could be dealing with a Virgo, Virgo coming up strong, Taurus, uh, Cancer. We've got lots of um, Leo, Gemini. We've got everybody here. So Aquarius, um, Sagittarius, uh, yeah, we have everyone here, so don't get hung up on the signs. If you feel like this is your energy, do know that it's your energy. Somebody is definitely going in between married life or settled life or the mundane, and then they go to the fun. Whether it's a lifestyle or it's an actual person, this is what someone is doing. So this is your reading, um, Aries, for the month of July it looks like somebody could even be expressing to you this is what they want to do. I don't know how they're going to put it to you. Um, let's see. I don't know if it's going to... I mean, you're going to have to read between the lines here and listen to your intuition because this person is telling you in so many words that this is what they want, this is what they want to do. If you feel like this reading resonates for you, go over to the website, book your reading there. Take advantage of the text question where you can text a question to the number below, pay for your question, receive the answer to your question on your mobile device. You can also 
uh, go to the website, book a full reading at the website level, donate to the channel by clicking the buy me a coffee link if you took anything from the reading. You can always give back. Thank you, Aries. Many blessings to you. Take care.